If you suspect your vehicle has a bad high pressure fuel pump, I'm going to go over the common symptoms of a failing pump and how you can determine if it's the cause of your issue. What is a high pressure fuel pump? A high pressure fuel pump is an advanced mechanical fuel pump used in gasoline direct injection engines or GDI. Unlike traditional fuel systems, GDI engines require high pressure fuel injection directly into the cylinders, which offers several benefits including better emissions, improved fuel economy, and increased engine power. How the GDI fuel system works. GDI systems typically have two fuel pumps. Low pressure fuel pump, located inside the gas tank. This pump sends fuel at 40 to 75 PSI and high pressure fuel pump, located at the top of the engine. This pump generates very high pressure, sometimes reaching up to 2,500 PSI, depending on the vehicle. This high pressure system ensures precise fuel delivery for optimal engine performance. Symptoms of a failing high pressure fuel pump. One of the first signs of a failing high pressure fuel pump is a rattling noise coming from the engine compartment. This happens because the pump operates using a spring and a cam lobe, which rapidly move to generate high fuel pressure. Inside the pump, there's also a small plunger, sometimes called a roller or follower, that can wear out over time. If this component becomes damaged or completely fails, it can cause noticeable rattling or ticking noises. While the exact symptoms may vary depending on the engine, unusual noises from the fuel pump area are often an early warning sign of failure. Another common symptom of a failing high-pressure fuel pump is the check engine light turning on. If you scan for error codes, you might see something related to fuel pressure or even a misfire code. For example, a P0087 code indicating fuel rail system pressure too low is a common code associated with fuel pump issues. Other symptoms include hard starting, when the engine may struggle to turn over, stalling, when the vehicle might randomly stall, especially under load, hesitation or sputtering during acceleration, this often happens between 2,000 and 4,000 RPM when the engine isn't receiving enough fuel pressure. Loss of power and poor fuel economy. Since the pump isn't delivering the required fuel pressure, acceleration will feel weaker and fuel efficiency may drop. Rough idle. When the engine may feel shaky or inconsistent when idling. All these issues stem from the pump's inability to maintain the proper fuel pressure needed for optimal engine performance. How to test a high-pressure fuel pump Before testing a high-pressure fuel pump, be aware that the fuel pressure inside the system is extremely high. Always follow the correct procedures to safely release the pressure before working on the pump. Refer to your vehicle's manual for specific steps to avoid injury or fuel spraying everywhere. Step 1. Check the low-pressure fuel pump. Before assuming the high-pressure fuel pump is faulty, First, check the fuel pump inside the gas tank to ensure it's delivering fuel properly. Look up the specified fuel pressure for your vehicle. It typically amounts from 40 to 75 PSI. Then use a fuel pressure gauge to verify the pump inside the tank is sending the correct pressure up to the high pressure fuel pump. Step 2. Inspect the high pressure fuel pump. If the low pressure fuel pump is working correctly, then move on to the high pressure pump. Remove the high-pressure fuel pump carefully after ensuring the system is depressurized. Check the plungers and followers for signs of wear, cracks, or damage. Inspect the cam lobe for it's not excessively worn or damaged, as this could prevent the pump from generating proper pressure. Test the fuel pressure sensor, as the sensor attached to the pump can also fail, leading to incorrect readings and improper fuel delivery. By following these steps, you can determine if the high-pressure fuel pump is the cause of your vehicle's fuel-related issues. As I mentioned earlier, there can be variations in how high-pressure fuel pumps operate, the pressure they generate, and their overall functionality depending on the vehicle. If you plan to work on a high-pressure fuel system, it's crucial to refer to your vehicle's manual and follow the proper procedures for releasing fuel pressure before performing any work. The fuel inside these lines is under extremely high pressure and failing to depressurize the system correctly could result in dangerous fuel spray or injury. Always prioritize safety when working with fuel systems. And that's it. If you've experienced any of these issues, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.